Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. My name, if you don't know me, is Martin. I work as a delivery driver working in uh, Devon, working with Deliveroo, Uber Eats, Just Eat, Stuart. Um, I've been doing this for three or four years, so I've got a bit of experience making a few videos to try and help out. Uh, riders are already on, already on the road, riders are new, etc. So today's video is about how the GMB union is trying to negotiate with Deliveroo to make sure that we have a minimum pay floor in place. So what I'll do in this video is I'll go through the statement that the GMB has sent out to its members, um, react to it, and also I've been working with uh, Rodeo, who's been helping me analyze my delivery earnings, and uh, we'll have a bit of insight as to what's actually been going on over the last few years with Deliveroo's pay. So going through the statement, basically they're saying, following the negotiations between Deliveroo and the GMB union, uh, we're now in the position to announce the pay floor for 2024 or consult with its members, sorry. Uh, the pay floor is a minimum guarantee for pay for all jobs on Deliveroo. It is the hourly rate based on how long the job should take. Now, this is the first thing I want to point out. This idea of how a, how long a job should take. Um... The first problem I've got with this is that Deliveroo has not given us any indication of how long they are expecting this job to take. Um, so are they expecting a job that's actually taken me half an hour to have taken 15 minutes? Because in that case, they're paying me half the amount that I should be paid. Because one thing that they're not really taking into account, I don't think, is waiting time. Um, now, obviously, Deliveroo should be able to to work out what an average waiting time is per restaurant. And I feel like this should be included, but I don't feel like it is. Um, obviously, if they know that I always go to X restaurant and every rider there waits on average for 10 minutes from the moment that they click arrive to the moment that they say that they've got the job and they're on their way, this should be included, but I don't think it is. I think that they're just saying, okay, it should take you X amount of time to get to the restaurant and X amount of time to get from the restaurant to the customer. Um, obviously, in life, you know, things aren't always that simple. The amount of time, so I've gone to a restaurant and they said five minutes. I'm like, okay, no worries. And then you know how it goes. Five minutes turns into 10, 15 minutes. And that makes a big difference to our income. So that's the first thing that I think that they need to look at a little bit because I don't think that quite works out right. And as well, not just waiting in the restaurant, but sometimes, you know, like some drop-offs are different to other drop-offs. Sometimes you might have somebody that's literally got the door open, ready to accept the order. Other times, maybe you might have to climb up 10 flights of stairs to get to the customer. Um, I've had it a few times that a customer's gone, oh, I'm really sorry, but uh, we ordered and then we forgot and went to the play park. Uh, we're on our way back now. And then you're kind of waiting for them to come back. You've got to wait for a minimum of seven minutes. I mean, if you think about it, if you're waiting in a restaurant for, say, 15 minutes and then you're waiting for the customer for seven minutes, you've waited in traffic. I don't feel like their idea of how long it should take and how long it sometimes can take are in alignment if that makes sense. So continue on, it says, from the point of accepting the job to delivering the item. So like I say, you know, they're looking at how long it takes, should take, except to deliver. Um, not really, they haven't said anything about waiting time or traffic or etc. etc. Uh, ba 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 ba, where did I get to? It is made up of a pay floor added to expense calculations for each vehicle type. So, for example, a 15-minute job should pay at least one quarter of the pay floor, so one quarter of the hourly pay that they're talking about, plus one quarter of the expenses figure for that vehicle type. Um, so the vehicle types are at the bo um, bottom of the thing here. Uh, so it's saying the minimum pay floor is £12 an hour. Um I'm in a car, so that makes the minimum, uh, which is £4.27, they're saying expenses per hour is. Um, so that means that uh, I should be getting from Deliveroo, on average, £16.27p. Um, mm, I'm not 100% sure that that's the case. 
when you take into, like I say, into consider, like, consideration life, you know, waiting time, etc, etc. Um, this is just the minimum. Many jobs pay at a higher rate and GMP reps are working to bring the bring up this rate over time. Well, that's good. I like that statement. That's pretty good. The proposed rates for 24, 2024 is below. This is a 15.2 increase on the last year's pay floor. Uh, we have also secured for the first time expenses rates for bikes and e-bikes. Um, I'll put a little thing up here because I don't I don't deal with bikes, but I know Deliveroo is this is what Deliveroo are basically saying you should rent. Um, I don't know that really if that correlates with to 19p an hour. I feel like that's a bit more expensive than 19p an hour. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, on the face of it, this is pretty. Um, good news i think um however i'm guessing there was pre pay review last year and i missed it um and i'm not sure that they're really sticking to what they're saying here so my first thing that i do find quite interesting is this idea that they have arranged um a minimum income floor that includes expenses and from the look of that statement that's something that's been going on for a while with cars but it confuses me a little bit because um, I know a few cyclists and I chat to them regularly and there's been a couple of times where uh, we've both had the same offer from Deliveroo and actually when it's offered to the cyclist a lot of the time the fee is a little bit higher than it is for me in a car so if they're saying that they are taking expenses into concern in consideration sorry how is it that the fees seem to be quite similar or if not a little bit higher for a bike because you think about it if they're offering me say a job that's going to take half an hour then my fee should be two pounds plus more so that's one thing that does confuse that has confused me it's quite slightly so this data is only based on an average fee per order at the moment there is more data that we have been looking at together, uh, but that is something I'm going to share in a future video. This data does show, though, that um, I am falling below the minimum income floor um, that the GMB is talking about. So that's something that I'm going to share in a future video. So obviously subscribe and all, all that jazz um, if you want to hear about that. Uh, but it does some of the data showing that um, my earnings per minute is at times quite low on Deliveroo still. Now, my behavior on Deliveroo has adapted quite a lot in the last few years, um, which would actually make me think that my fees would rise because I've been a lot more picky about what delivery orders that I've been doing. As when I first started, I was only doing Deliveroo and a bit of Uber. Now um, I've got Stuart and Just Eat on board. Um, their fees are higher, so, um, I'm more likely to turn down lower paying fees. So I'd expect this to have actually gone up. Um, but as you can see in 2022, uh, my order fees were 517. 2023, it goes down to 499. And then for 2024, 20, it's gone down again, um, 4 pound 97, which is actually a decrease of 3.8% over the last few years. Um, some of this might be explained I could say I have been more picky about the orders I've taken. However, I do use Deliveroo as a bit of a bridging platform. Um, by that I mean, like, if I am out in the sticks and there's a shop there, I'm thinking of one particular place where there's a co-op, um, I might use Deliveroo because I've got co-op Deliveroo to get myself back into my delivery area. Or quite often as well, I'll pick up a Deliveroo that will take me home won't necessarily be great fee but you know i'm getting some of that dead getting some pay for some of that dead mileage of going home this does also make me think um has delivery sort of learned different behavioral platform um different behavioral patterns sorry about their drivers uh, and, and they know that i'm more willing to take a low paying order if it's going in the direction that they think that i want to travel or if they know that I'm out in an area where there's not many places to pick up from, 
Are they likely to chuck a lower paying order at me? Um, because they think I've got no other choice to get me back to where I normally deliver from. I'm not 100% sure that's something that they can do, but it had popped into my head that that could be a possibility. So also, as you can see from these stats here, um, since January 2022, minimum wage has increased by 28%. Inflation has gone up by 9.3%. Yeah, my delivery average fee is down by 3.8%. I know this is only one metric of measuring it, but it doesn't really tally up with this idea that the GMB have actually made delivery change the way that they're doing fees. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on all this. Um, do you think that this is good news? Not good news? Um, yeah, if, you, if you've got any thoughts on this, please pop it down in the comments. Um, also, I am planning on doing um, a video where I, I, I'm looking for some volunteers to basically speak about what your experiences are driving, um, what your opinions are on different subjects like um, fees, account renting, the behaviour of other couriers, like for example people not doing up bags, people not having the right equipment, stuff like that, people uh, saying they're a bike and they're actually driving a car. So yeah, I'm looking for a few people who would like to speak uh, for a few minutes uh, to put together a video of a few different people's experiences of what it's like working as courier with delivery Uber, Just Eat, Stuart. Um, until next time, guys, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I put a bit, a bit more effort into this one than I have done to ones before. And as I say, um, I am sort of in talks with radio, with radio, rodeo, um, and hopefully we can work together a little bit more um, to try and bring a bit of clarity towards fees and other issues. Until next time, I shall wish you happy travels.